Hello and welcome to Infinity. Sharpening is a way of enhancing the edges of areas to make it more obvious where something ends. The as humans we need when we look at things, any animal, if you look at something, you need to know where the edge is you need to, in order to see what a thing is. So the first thing the eye does is look for edges. And in doing so, it's looking for contrast. So we enhance the contrast across edges. We're going to make a thing stand out more. And that's what sharpening is. If you go here, this is 0%, which is black, uh, to 100% white. And you've got a very clear contrast across that. This goes from 25% to 75%. So there's still a pretty good edge. And this is 45 to 55, and it's getting a bit more difficult to see there. So if we go into this, and we'll do a little experiment, I'll get the pen tool here, and I'm going to put a line from here to here. And that one's white. I'm going to hit Control J to duplicate it and make that one black. And then what I'm going to do is Going a little bit closer here, go to the move tool here, and I'm going to drag the black one to the edge here, and the white one to the edge the other side of it. So now if we go in close, there we go. Now you can see how this goes from the grey to the, the black to the white to the light grey. And this effectively, what you're doing is your eye goes across here. What this does is your eye goes across here. It goes from 25%, 0% to 100% to 75%. So that 0 to 100 is that big transition that your eye can really very clearly see as contrast. So if I zoom out, Eventually, as you come out, you can hardly see that there's a, a line there. It just looks like it is just a sharper edge. And that's even one where the edge actually is sharp. So, in reality, few edges are sharp. They're mostly blurred. So let's put a blur on this and see what happens. So I'll put a blur on here. Turn the radius up a bit enough so we can see the edges. There we go, that'll do. Now I'm going to put on top of there a um, sharpening. So we'll use the unsharp mask here. I'm not going to go into detail of how it works. I'm going to do that in another video. But in this one here, we're just looking at this edge. This is now a blurred edge. Let's go all the way in. And if I turn the radius up here, Look at what's happening here. As I come out, note there's a dark area here and a lighter area there. So this is what the sharpening is doing. It's putting that dark line one side and a light line the other side. So that when I go out, you can see the dark. This goes along here, goes from 25% down to low to high and back to 75%. So I've got that edge. Across here, however, this is an edge here, which is very, very dim. But you can, in fact, see that it's an edge. Because look what happens if I turn off the unsharp mask. So I've just got a blur. You can hardly see the transition across. It almost all looks like one colour. So putting the unsharp mask on even a bit does give you a little bit more to tell you that there is a, an edge there. So that's the whole principle then of how sharpening works is that it's going to find an edge and put things next to it. I'm going to talk more about how it finds an edge in another video, but it does use the blur. And we'll do a simulation in that of the Unsharp Mask for another time. Thank you very much for watching.